In this video, we replace the leaking crankshaft position sensor on the 2002 Avalanche. It's the same on all Chevy vehicles with the 5.3 LS engine. You can easily order one online. You'll find the link in the description of this video. Here's what it looks like, and it's usually the O-ring that leaks. With the old sensor being 20 years old, we decided to change it. Make sure you get a sensor that does not need to be relearned. AC Delco and a few others make OEM parts that do not require a relearn. Do your research or ask the auto parts shop. If it needs to be relearned, you'll need a scan reader tool to perform a relearn. So just get a sensor that doesn't need it. It's only one 10 millimeter bolt holding it into the engine block, but it's behind the starter. So the starter needs to come out to get to this sensor. From the passenger side wheel well, you can see the starter, but to get to it, is from underneath the vehicle after you jack it up and put some jack stands for safety of course let's go over the tools needed a screwdriver pry bar eight millimeter socket eight millimeter wrench and 30 millimeter socket and a torque wrench before we start remove the negative terminal from the battery and once underneath the vehicle using a 13 millimeter socket, remove the two mounting bolts from the starter. By the way, one of the signs that hints at a leaking crankshaft sensor like this one is oil dripping from your starter bolt like this. We'll leave the wires connected to the starter and move it under the exhaust manifold and held by two transmission pipes. As you take out the last bolt, hold on to the starter. Then pull it out of the bell housing area and squeeze it up between the engine block and the transmission pipes to rest. Now we just use a pick tool and lift up this tab and just try to get the pigtail off the sensor at the same time. Make sure you have the pigtail clear out of the way. And clean around the sensor if necessary. You can use some penetrant if it's really rusty around that bolt. Then using a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench, remove the mounting bolt holding the sensor. Then using our pry bar with a curved tip, carefully put it between the sensor and the engine and just try to pry it out carefully. This one was way too easy. That explains why it was leaking. The 20-year-old O-ring was not holding anything. So now we have the new sensor here. First, coat the seal with a lubricant. You can use a little engine oil or dielectric grease. Something to help it work its way into the engine block. Well, let's get the sensor up in there. When you put this in, you want it to go in as straight as possible. Line up the bolt hole on the actual part itself with the bolt hole on the engine before you go in too far. Now that we got it all the way against the engine block the way it needs to be, we thread the bolt in and tighten it using the 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. Before plugging back the pigtail, place some dielectric grease on the connection. Then line it up and then press it in. Make sure it's completely latched and it's not loose in any way. Put the starter back into the housing. Thread in the two bolts and snug them the rest of the way with 13 millimeter socket and ratchet. Then torque them to 37 foot-pounds. Reconnect the negative battery cable and we're good to go. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you along the way. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. See the description for links of tools and materials used in this video. And you all have a great day.